What's going on, guys? Check this here out. Y'all know how you people are always trying to demonize guns, especially AK, AKs and AR styles. They ain't just got to be AR. The style. Y'all try to demonize it and whip it. Yeah, I was going to say weaponized, but it is a weapon if you can make it that, you know. But, I, I'm thinking we need to uh, go ahead and nip it in the bud. We need to go ahead and start uh, banning cross-dressing. Yeah. Because, uh, it can get out of hand, y'all. Philadelphia. Mass shooting suspect Kim Brady Carica was weird and dressed as woman for years, says their neighbors. This man char uh, charged with killing five in a mass shooting in Philadelphia. And for you who don't know better, a mass shooting, y'all, is pretty much like, I think, two or three peoples. I think three, though. I think. If it's three people, they're going to say mass. So don't think it's like a whole crowd of people. Uh, the man was charged with killing five in a mass shooting in Philadelphia. Known to his family and neighbors for dressing as a woman. But while they described him to the post as weird, none felt he was capable of violence. If he weird, weird equal violence to me. Come on, man. I know there's levels to weird, but a normal person can be violent. A weird person can be violent. Kim Brady, he's 40 has been hit with a slew of murder and other charges after allegedly open fire with an AR-15 style rifle. Which could have been, like, I got an AR-15 style 22. So it could have been that, you know. It, when you, if, you, if you look at the little story. Uh, he was in the city's working class king sessing neighborhood. Uh, out of those murdered, it was two kids who were shot, and others were injured. And it was random individuals, they say. Several neighbors who knew the suspect simply asked Kim. I'm sure him told him to call him Kim. I want to be called Kim. I'm gonna be called Dude. What's up? Because y'all, look at him. This is how I am. It may be disrespectful, but I'm tired. I don't give a damn. Sometimes when I, if I go to a store and, and I see a dude who want to be one of them, a woman, I'm going to do my best is to disrespect him. Really, nigga? Not in a way what you think it. Let me put it in this way. Uh, I'm going to say, all right, homeboy. Oh, my guy. I'm not finna glorify you dressing as a woman when you is a man. You clearly was born a man. I ain't fixing to go along with your rules as you playing like you a, a woman or whatever. You playing dress up. I ain't doing it. I ain't got to do it. No. Uh, they were, his neighbors were stunned to learn of the alleged man shooter's identity. <laughs> they were surprised. Not Kim. Yeah, it was him. They said he ain't never caused no problem in the neighborhood. And he lived there decades. He never bothered nobody. I know some people like that. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, they said they knew he was different. They'll see him dressed as a woman a few times, but he ain't never caused no problem. They said they thought he was gay. They never saw him with anyone. They only saw him dressed as a woman. That was his thing. And they said they had no problem with that. He posted several pictures on Facebook in, in, in the past months where he sported long hair, jewelry, and female clothing. His mugshot released earlier wins. You hear that say? His mugshot, not her mugshot. Some of y'all give them the glory when y'all say she. It's not a she. Cut it open and see if it has men or women parts. <coughs> His mugshot released early wins to show him with short braided hair, a mustache, and a goatee. Another neighbor who had wanted to be a coward and not be mentioned in this, but it wanted his, his word to go through. They said he was strange. But never thought he was capable of violence. That's him right there, y'all. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that is him right there. They say he was a good guy, but this funny here, y'all. He was a good guy, but something made his rubber band pop. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. You just don't start dressing like a woman out of nowhere. The neighbor described him as going undercover when he dressed in woman outfits. He would do it randomly. He was weird to tell you the truth, but he was a nice guy. Another neighbor said, he only seen him dressing up once. I don't think it's an everyday thing. I just thought he was a regular guy. Yeah, I saw him in regular clothes and one time in female clothes. And his grandmama said, she must be old school. None of this new, new age grandma that, that go for anything. Be like, well, I ain't even go for that. All right, his grandma said, who wouldn't divulge her name either, said she saw him dressed in female clothing one time, and he never did it again in front of her because she didn't approve of that shit. I guess he she told him that that day is again, y'all, without this little dragger town. Yeah, that's him. He knew I disapproved of it. He dressed as a man when he came to me. When he was around me, she said. He did it one time and that was it. He was no trans. He was just gay, she continued. I know some of you don't get it. For him being a transformer, I mean, he, can, he turned himself from man to woman but no he was just a dude with a ding ding that like getting chocolate on it if you know what i'm saying while police in the da's office and initially referred to this the suspect with they them pronouns authorities have now been referring to him as a male. You see what I'm saying? They initially gave him the they them. No. It's a him. Don't give them that, y'all. Officials in the DA office were immediately available for comment when contacted by the post. On his since deleted Facebook page, uh Kim regularly posted about supporting Black Lives Matter including supporting workers who protested in the strife of black lives in July 2020. Well, he mentioned Black Lives Matter. Maybe they should kill that group too. Not actually kill the people. I'm talking about like this band the group. It's 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 it's, it's, it's got something to do with mass shootings, y'all. Yeah. 
At least some of the victims gunned down in Monday's bloodshed were black. He didn't discriminate. X, why he would target such residents if he supported BLM, his grandma said, well, that's a question that all black people should be asking. Why all that black people? They ain't got nothing to do with his nasty butts. The grandma who described as a good person, described him as a good person, said her grandson hadn't stopped by in her home in two months, which was out of his character. He heals again, y'all. He in another character now, though. How many of y'all do to let him stick you? <laughs> you try you stick him, huh? <laughs> Woo! Shoosh! The weird thing is they just keep using this weird word, which I noticed that weird is a... I think that's a Northeast thing. They say it all over, but I've heard weird so many times from like the Northeast and the Middle East. Uh... The weird thing is, he would come by at least three times a month, his grandma said. I haven't seen him in at least two months. I find it kind of odd, she said. I couldn't believe it. It's devastating. What happened? What set you off to do these things, she, she said, of the bloodshed? Something must have happened to set him off like that. Oh, his brother being popped. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ken was ordered to be here without bail. During his arraignment in Philadelphia County Municipal Court earlier Wednesday, in addition to the five counts of murder, he was being charged with attempted murder, reckless endangerment, and aggravated assault. Aggravated assault, y'all. That's probably going to give him the most. The holiday weekend bloodshed unfolded when Kim is said to have donned a bulletproof vest, ski mask, before opening fire at random people in the street with the rifle. When he surrendered to cops a short time later, he was allegedly found with a pistol, extra magazines, and a police scanner in his position. But he didn't utilize none of that. He had a prior conviction for having an unlicensed firearm in 2003. He was carrying a ghost gun. Uh, yeah, when I built my AR, I was going to turn it into a ghost gun when I started doing it, but I was like, ah, oh, forget it. Uh, this person here described the horror as a random premeditated deliberate killing said there was good reason to believe the AR-15 and the ghost gun used have had been obtained illegally they said he said AR-15 right here but in the beginning of the story if you listen to it they said it was an AR-15 like gun he don't appear to have any prior connection to his alleged victims and authorities said they're trying to determine his motive just ask him if you don't ask him kick him in the balls throw rocks at him uh the slain victims have been identified as those if you ain't got any read they need and there's a two-year-old boy and a 13-year-old youth who was injured in it while another two-year-old boy and a woman were hit by shattered glass uh, they need to ban transsexuals. They need to ban what else? Black Lives Matter groups. They need to ban uh, I don't know. They just need to ban some stuff. You're gonna ban, you try to ban guns and all that. There, the gun ain't alive. The gun is dead. The gun is dead like. It take a live person to pull the trigger of a gun. So, start checking with your human kind. <laughs>